So now we're going to try to get some joint that we can control, that, that can be moved. So we're going to try to move this yellow, this yellow joint here. So just remember we have an arm and we wish we could move things right here. So we have a rotate command sitting in the middle of setting up our, our yellow arm. And just to see if we know the right place where we're going to make a change, I'm just going to change to 45 degrees here. And come back here and then rerun this thing and take a look at what happened. Oh, okay, so I rotated the arm here. So if we provide some slider which gives control, we can probably get the arm to rotate here. Now, we do have a problem. The pink one didn't move with it. We're going to ignore that for now. We're going to handle it in the next uh, rubric point. But for, um, for the moment, we're going to try to get a slider that controls things right here onto, for this yellow one to be able to move back and forth. Okay, I've gone ahead and added a yellow slider here. Um, I've put it in my HTML code here. As you might expect, I've hooked that up. I have actions for HTML. I've now commented out all these buttons. I've just X'd them and commented it out. They're not doing anything. And now I have this yellow slider hooked up here. And what does the yellow slider do? Uh, it just goes and sets some global uh, variable, which I've set up uh, above this point, uh, just like all, all of my UI elements. Um, I set it to the current value, and then I re-render all shapes. And down inside of re-render all shapes, I've now gone to this value, which I previously changed to be 45 degrees, and set it to be the angle. So let's go take a look at, at what happens with that. Let's look at this from a little bit side angle here. And now we can move back and forth this element like like this. Now it's moving the opposite of how I want it to move. Uh, so I think I'm going to just swap around that uh, positive to be a negative angle so that I, I can have it flip the, uh, the other way. So here I am in render all shapes inside my yellow arm at the place where I was setting yellow angle and I've just right here added a negative sign so that I flip around my angle. So let's go take a look at how that works. So now I can still turn of course, but now when I rotate my yellow it, it follows the direction of the slider, which I just think is a little bit nicer. Now, I still haven't dealt with this magenta cube up at the top. I'm going to deal with that in the next room.